Terraria's legacy versions were a sight to behold, introducing a handful of exclusive weapons, armour and enemies into the game, and although this was all unfortunately removed around the 1.3 update, with the power of modding on Team Mod Loader, we were able to hit ourselves with a violent wave of nostalgia and bring back some of this classic content. Today, we're going to be looking at another last-gen console exclusive weapon that was one of the most iconic spears during its heyday. Of course, I'm talking about the Tombagiri. Now, while this was never quite as popular as the Tizona, which I reviewed last time, the Tombagiri is definitely not forgotten, and luckily, the Gontolaria mod, which we'll be using to bring this weapon back, not only integrates it into modern Terraria well, but enhances its functionality in so many ways. Before we jump into it, if you enjoy reviews like these, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, as it really helps out the channel. All right, let's see how you can get this thing. Similar to back in the day, the Tonbagiri is a direct upgrade to the Gungnir, requiring an assortment of materials to craft. We'll once again need to defeat Okram for his Souls of Bright, which in the Consolarian mod can be summoned by gathering 15 bones and 5 ectoplasm from your personal terror dungeon and crafting a suspicious looking skull at your nearest demon or crimson altar. And when you're ready during night, activate it to summon the boss. If I'm honest, like last time, I found this boss rather easy for First Plantera, and with using the Scourge of the Corruptor, went down in about 30 seconds. So if the Consolaria devs are watching, it might be worth buffing him just a little bit. But that's just my take. Alright, with your treasure bag and souls obtained, we only have a few last things to gather. First, you're going to want to of course craft the Gungnir itself with 12 hallowed bars at an anvil, and also collect enough hellstone for 5 hellstone bars, and enough adamantite or titanium for 10 bars. With everything collected, head to an anvil and craft that beautiful Tombagiri. Ok, let's see how it performs today. Off the bat, you'll probably notice that it's been pizzazzed up a bit thanks to the Consolarian mod, and I have to say, it's a welcome change. As far as iconic as the original was, like the Tizona, its functionality was quite boring. In this version, it's quite the opposite however, now extending an extremely long spear that inflicts the poison and spectral flames debuff on contact with an enemy. It also seems its length has substantially improved its crowd performance, now being able to deal over 5000 DPS and pierce each and every target due to its spear functionality. So while these numbers are all well and nice to see, let's take a look at how it does against the real thing. And well, to say this weapon was effective against groups is an understatement. I mean, just, just look at that. The same can be said for Mimics, and it even fares well against Bio Mimics, due to being able to hit all of them at once. At this point, it's probably looking like the Tom Bagheri is destroying the Tithona. Well, against groups, absolutely. But what about bosses? Against Golem, it does remarkably well, but at the same time, so does a lot of other things. I think the fact Golem only has 3 segments actually takes away some of the potential of this weapon, as its base damage isn't as high as some other options. Either way, very quickly, Golem is down. So what about some more mobile bosses like the Cortis? Surely this would be its weak spot. And if I'm honest, yeah, sort of. At the end of the day, although it may be one of the best spears in the game, it's still at core a spear, meaning its range suffers a lot compared to ranged weapons. And yet, while this was still completely possible, I'd much prefer doing this fight with a projectile weapon, just to keep the damage delivery more consistent. But don't worry, because the Tombagiri doesn't stop there. And while it may not be the most viable option for the Moonlord like the Tizona, its crowd controlling abilities makes it a fantastic option for the Pillars, and might be one of the best, if not best, choices for pure melee playthroughs. All in all, the Tombagiri is another amazing Terraria weapon brought back to life with the Consolarian mod. It's crazy to think that all these iconic weapons have been gone for so long. I always wonder if Relogic will ever add them back at some point, or if it's just history. Let me know down below if you remember the Tombagiri, and if not, what are your first impressions of it? This has been Socrates, and I'll see you in the next one.